hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we will discuss about function function is a relation in which for every element of x there exists an element in y there are two conditions for the function first one is for every element of x there exists an element in y there is no the second condition is there is no repetition in the domain there is no repetition in the domain okay what happens if the domain repeats if the repeat uh, if the domain repeats then it will become a relation so what is relation relation between two sets is a collection of ordered pair containing an element from each set like first i will explain function these are two sets what actually function says a b c are the elements of x and 1 2 3 are the elements of y the function says for each element of x there exists an element in y okay it might be the case a map on different element b map on different element c maps on different element or it can also happen like this c map c and b maps on same element okay so if i write it in ordered pair it will become a1 b2 and c3 clear for every element in x there exists an element in y okay i said about relation relation is function is also a relation function is also a relation but the second condition is not necessary for the relation if domain repeats it is relation if domain do not repeat it is also a relation okay what is domain the first element input is also called domain here the element of x or input is called domain you can say it also a pre image okay so we will discuss few types of uh, function one one function what is one one function if different element of x has different element images in y what let's suppose i have two set x and y x and y okay here element of x are same i am repeating a b c one two three okay so different element have different images different element of x has different images and y then the function will be one one okay there is no condition in the domain whether if i write four four has no pre-image okay four has no pre-image in the x so still it is one one still it is one one function if i write it here or if i remove it will not affect one one function second one is onto function what onto function says if each element of y has pre-image and x okay i said here if i write four it will not affect this function but in this case x and y i'm writing it again and again the same number a b c and one two three i write four also okay the definition says each element in y each element of y has pre-image in x what if I write it like this, one, two, three, and also this, 
but in this case the domain repeats so it will not be a function if domain repeats next if i leave it's like this so the condition of onto function is every element of y has pre image in x so the four has no pre image so it will not be onto function if i remove it and i can also write it like this my main concern is the image must have pre image so in this case it is also pre image so it will also be onto function the third one is into function into function is actually the combination of one one and onto function okay now a function in which there is at least one element of y which is not pre image of any element of x in one one function this is not the necessary condition for i write it for which is not an image of any element of x but an into function x y a b c it is 1 2 3 4 according to the definition there must be at least one element which is not the pre image which is not the image of any element in x let's suppose i map it like this like this 4 if i remove 4 here it will not affect this function but if i remove 4 here it will surely affect the definition of n2 function as the definition says there as at least one element of y which is not sorry i write pre image which is not an image of any element of x so 4 is not an image of any element of x this is into function further we will discuss about the domain and range of the function how we will find domain and range of the function how we will find inverse function and how we will find the domain and range of inverse function